The Infinix 08, 90 Hz refresh rate, MediaTek Helio G90 T processor. Finally, Infinix dumps the micro USB port for USB C, 33 watt super fast charging, and a host of other features for 117,000 naira. I think Infinix is finally ready. What up guys, Izzy here and welcome to my channel. So Infinix has revived their Zero series. We previously had the Infinix Zero 6 and now we have the Zero 8 and with this device, Infinix has improved everything except of course, the bloatware part. Now I've had the Infinix Zero 8 for a little over 24 hours and this is going to be my early review based on my experience so far. But of course, first we have to go through the unboxing. The retail box is two-tone, silver and grey, having the same pattern you are going to find on the device. Right within the box, the first thing you are going to find is the device itself. This is the silver diamond color option. There is also the black diamond and green diamond options. Next up is a small envelope which highlights the item you would find in the box. The envelope also contains some Infinix stickers, X-Club card and a film screen protector and also your SIM ejector tool included. Next up is a transparent protective casing. You also get a 3W fast charger and a USB-C cable. Yes, you heard right, USB-C cable. And finally, a nicely designed wired earphones. I wonder how they sound. The setup process is straightforward with nothing exactly new. You are greeted with a new version of XOS which retains all of its bloatware companions. Man, that is a lot of bloatware particularly very annoying ones actually. Of course I'll debloat and use a custom launcher to achieve a more refined setup to my taste. Like the Infinix Note 7, the 08 has a fingerprint scanner on the power button on the right side of the device where we also have the volume rocker keys. There's nothing at the top, the SIM card slot is on the left and it supports dual nano SIM and micro SD card. At the bottom we have the USB-C port, a headphone jack, noise cancelling mic and speaker grill. No stereo speakers this time. The Infinix 08 is a tall device at 6.85 inches and at first glance it feels a little narrow but you can easily get used to it. The 08 is built of plastic but with glass on the display. Infinix has not specified what kind of glass is on the display so at the very best it won't be better than Gorilla Glass 3. It has quad cameras at the back in a rhombus arrangement, unconventional but pretty interesting and it sits well with the design. The bump can be leveled with the protective casing that comes in the box. XOS has seen some UI changes which I find interesting. Some nice transparent effects though we still have the bloatware and ads. It comes with Android 10 and for a device as nice as the Infinix 08, it's going to be quite sad if Infinix continues the trend of not pushing Android upgrades for their devices. Android 11 is just around the corner and so far there is nothing to suggest that the Infinix 08 is going to receive an Android upgrade. Can somebody please tell Infinix that the consumers deserve at least one Android version upgrade? 90Hz refresh rate on the Infinix 08 is one of the major selling points of this device and I have to say for certain, it's awesome. You can feel it especially when you're scrolling through the device, everything becomes smooth and snappy. You are able to select 60Hz for longer battery life or you can also allow the device to choose between 60 and 90 as needed. Most of the previous devices I've used have been 60Hz but I have experienced 120Hz with the S20 series so definitely I'm leaving this at 90Hz as it makes everything smooth. The Infinix 08 has an LCD display with 1080p resolution. The display houses the dual selfie cameras to the left. Since it's an LCD display, you can see the shadow of the camera cutout. The 08 comes with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage which is expandable. It also comes with a MediaTek Helio G90T processor which is a gaming focused processor and very close to the Snapdragon 720G. The G90T was used on the Redmi Note 8 Pro of last year and the Snapdragon 720G is also used on the Redmi Note 9S and Pro. Benchmark scores here is quite impressive. I also tried PUBG here and it works really good. It runs on default HD and high frame rates. I played for at least an hour on 90Hz refresh rate and I only lost about 10% of the battery. Over time we are going to see just how long the battery can hold up. In another review I'm going to be testing more games to see just how well this device fares so make sure you are subscribed and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss when I post that video. 
The 33 watt super fast charger powers up this device from 0 to 60 in 30 minutes and in about 70 minutes you get a full charge. The Infinix 08 has some interesting camera specifications, sporting a 64 megapixel main camera and a 48 megapixel dual selfie camera. I took some pictures with it and I can say they are really good. It also has a wide angle lens and 2x zoom. The selfie camera does descend but the background is sometimes overexposed. Okay, video recording from both the front and the rear cameras of the Infinix 08. You can also do video stabilization, but that is only at 1080p. There is a ton of camera modes, including Pro mode, but all these cannot be covered in this review. Stay tuned for a more detailed review. That's it for this review, I need at least a week or two with this device to be able to give a more detailed review, so do leave comments or questions if there is anything you'd like for me to check in my full review. So far I'm impressed with the Infinix 08 and I'd like to see just how well it fares over time. So guys, till next time, peace.